So when you first run the uh, Atari 8-bit emulator, Altura, uh, it goes steps you through the process and it saves all that configuration files to your registry on your Windows system. But what if you want to take that somewhere else? You want to have these settings all uh, saved so make it portable. Well, there is a way to make it switch over. So instead of doing it in your registry, it does it on your device. Now you see here there's no configuration files. But if you look at this portable one that I set up, after it was done doing it, it wrote it to an INI file instead. In order to launch it with a parameter, you have to create a shortcut. So you right click on it, create a shortcut, then you go inside here. And you'll see here I've added a flag to it, a flag that says slash portable. And that's really all there is to it. Let's take a look. Okay, here I am remoted into my laptop. And if we go there, I've copied over the directory on my D drive on my laptop. And so if we go over here, you'll see uh, there's my portable directory. And it comes over here. And it's got the INI file. So it should have all the settings. And sure enough, if I uh, click on the shortcut to run it, which also is slash portable, it comes up. There it is. Uh, it runs exactly as you might expect. Now I'm going to jump back to my original machine here and launch it. Now here I've, I've actually resized the windows. So these are a setting that's inside of Altera. So now I should be able to copy this new setting over uh, to my laptop. So I go ahead and uh, drag a folder on top of the other folder on my laptop. And I'm going to overwrite that. So drop it in there. And it's going to copy. Oh, I have to overwrite stuff. So I just say yes to overwrite it and say do it up for all items, and there we go. So I'm going to replace those files. So it copies them all over. So once it's done with that, I can go ahead back to my uh, laptop. And sure enough, if I go to the remote end on my laptop, and I run it again, if I go here and run the portable, and this shortcut, you'll see that the new window size is there. Now, of course, you're going to have to copy other files you need. You just can't have the emulator. Uh, if you have uh, your ROM stored somewhere else or your game stored somewhere else, you're going to have to copy those over. You could put them inside that same directory and just copy the whole thing over. In fact, you'll see right here where I've copied the games and the ROMs directory over so that I don't have to change any configurations on the other system. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.